Hey guys, uh, today we are going to start with airbrushing for beginners by a beginner. As I've only been doing airbrushing for a year, we all have our own preferences. I like watching chums and stuff channels, but for the past year I've been airbrushing. Started with the crappy GW air in a can spray well if you even want to call it an airbrush call it more of a spray brush when it wanted to work but then I upgraded and all this and that got a compressor and paint brushes or airbrushes my bad but basically I'm gonna sit there this episode is gonna be more on stuff you'll need to for a beginner to airbrush with it's like my recommendation you don't have to buy what I buy or any of that stuff or get what I get it's just what I recommend for beginners basically on a budget because let, let's all face it a lot of us do have budgets because of friend and happy stuff but we'll start with the basics let's see basics we need First off, you can either have a can, which I don't have any handy, or a compressor, which I have. Just a cheap one. Got it online. Uh, number two, an airbrush and a hose. Some compressors come with hoses, some don't. Some compressors even come with the uh, cheap Chinese airbrushes with them, which mine did. That one lasted a month. I upgraded to another cheap Chinese one, but didn't want to spend all the money because I wasn't 100% certain on airbrushing. I was just basically using it for basing or base colors and priming. But compressor, some come with low holders, as you can see, paint airbrush holders. This one's for siphon filled. And then you get, you can probably cut this so you can have two for top feed, which this one does look like it was cut. Just notice it, but basically sit there, have it on the ground when you're done. Well, let me use this one. There you go. Holding the airbrush in place. So you know where it's at, you don't have it loose on the table or anything in the airbrush. Uh, number two, well, number two, airbrush with the hose, I'm gonna count as part of the compressor. This one has a little handy handle. Hey. Slightly heavy, but well, only slightly heavy because she's using my left hand and I'm right handed. Let's see. What else are you going to need? Well, if you get the cheap ones that just use air in a can, you're going to need cans instead of compressor. But second of all, you're going to need airbrushes. Which I don't know where my GW one is, as I'm not really in the mood for looking for it. But I have my cheap Chinese, which I still use from time to time basically for I don't know <laughs> oh just using it for basically just put the connect the hose and use it to dust stuff off but it, it's a it's better than buying dust and air in a can now just dust stuff I use the compressor and I got my crumb which as you can see works a lot a little, little bit stiff but just a little bit of cleaning. Just been using it today, so. But protector needle. Let's see. It comes stock with tiny little thread. Then with the crown, you just it comes with the adapter. Cause not all airbrush hoses are the same, so. Adapter. 
And I also got a quick disc, mini quick disconnect for it. Just makes it easier. Then this way, you just connect it up. Oop, sorry about shaking the hand. My hose decided to wrap around my tripod. But basically, plop in like that. Hose stays straight now. This moves so you don't have to sit there and spend time and time just straightening the hose so it's not coiled up wherever. Bam, ready to airbrush. And then, there you go, disconnected. No screwing, no nothing. Uh, see, other stuff you'll need. Paints, obviously. Let's see, I, I use. Well, I did use GW paints for airbrushing, but once they changed to the new brush method or new paints, I uh, can't be bothered. But basically, for beginners, I recommend Mod Air. This blue cap, cap colored, but Mod Air. I recommend for beginners who aren't 100% on thinning their own paints yet. I also have surface primers. I got black, gray, and white in 200 milliliter bottles, which are about that size. So size comparison, the big difference, but this just has water for color changes. It's one of my old, um, um, what's my, uh, Got what they're called now, um, thinner or airbrush cleaner bottle. There we go. And these are ready to shoot as well. Ready to shoot. Um, well, I also use Flaho model color or game color Reaper Master Series and model color, as those are my go to cut paints nowadays are these set. I only got basic colors for model air. I got blue, I got a lot of metallics which the metallics it's great because you don't really need thinning and they come out nice and I still use them on paintbrush and again no thinning so there we go. Well so you'll need um, cleaner which I use airbrush cleaner from Vallejo this is the pure if you read the instructions which are here basically saying for more thorough cleaning soak valve nozzle but not the whole airbrush for several hours if used to rinse out paint change of colors dilute with 50% water blah 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 so I got this one with the label on is my pure. This one, which is slightly dirty as you can tell, is just water. And then I have another one. This is my 50 50 mix. Color changes. And the other thing you would need, which I completely forgot to grab, is airbrush thinner. But then I also have have it here okay if you just get the model color small bottle like this it comes clear but still work or not clear but white works just the same let's see cleaner and thinners uh, another another thing you would need will be yep let me just move this out of the way for everybody just so it doesn't clutter Another thing you would need, face mask. I use this as my main mask when I have to, when I require to use it. I'm mainly in my studio which is connected to the garage and have a window and a door that leads outside so half time when I airbrush I just vacuum effect with my door and my window which does work. But if you don't have, uh, if you're not able to have a great uh, ventilation system set up, 
you need one just because if you pitch too much thinner you're going to get an awful smell it'll be like spraying spray paints if you put too much thinner in the paint and then you get particles in you but I like I said I I've got well ventilation where I spray I also have the garage too which I have that door open which is really basically while I was painting in there great ventilation let's see then optionals optional extras let's see we first of all we will have let me grab a box as I use two different containers I have gloves bought on eBay for a fiber 200 gloves I, I prefer nitrile you can use latex vinyl whichever I just prefer nitrile because I work with latex in the kitchen at work so I don't like latex now I got this container which is basically a baking powder container which I just chuck gloves in for quick access sprayed it so I can so I don't get any cease and desist letters from the company other a overspray container or a cleaning pot as some people will call it and I made mine out of another container from work from the dishwasher cut a little hole in it just put the airbrush in bam spray all the overdraft I got a little glove on top just basically it's not really works as a filter but so all the cleaning chemicals from the cleaner doesn't come up inside is just paper towels socks rags basically change out every once in a while occasionally depending on how lazy I feel chuck them out just find some old socks chuck throw those in but you get smaller ones that are probably about probably about a little bit about that big around I don't know okay, I got this one and before I even go spraying in there I just mess around with the little bit of excess paint I got and just spray the outside as you can see but that's good because you don't have to sit there with trash can and this and that not saying you don't this is uh, optional extra what else do we have cheap clips which I got like four of these from convenience store in Little America like two dollars fifty for four of those so that's you probably find them in B and Q but I basically use it for when I do just so I can have something bigger to hold and when it's drying I just sit there I got this attached to my box so it just sits in like that while it's drying grab it spray again uh, cheap clips there's all kinds of cheap clips they're cheap for a reason if they break they break but you don't have to go buy expensive like really really expensive clips I see no point um, empty dropper bottles I get mine from S&M stuff which is two pound fifty UK for six bottles but then I also have save my old Vallejo bottles I never chuck them because you never know when you're gonna need a pot basically I will my empty pots like these these are my Tamiya clears which I moved to pots just because I don't know it takes up less room as you can see width wise and it's not made out of glass so if it falls hopefully the plastic won't break I'm not saying it won't I'm just preferably it won't break um, another optional extra depending on where you are what you're doing uh, spray booths certain spray booths are well vented have ventilation system in them 
which makes them great for indoors, just, but you still need the mask. Not saying don't get a mask because it has a ventilation system, but I've got mine. Mine is basically just a old box from work. And I just put masking tape inside and just spray into it. As you can see, I do spray. I change it out depending on how much I airbrush between once every two weeks to longer. The minimum I go is two weeks without changing. Occasionally, if it's getting bad and it's late night, I just grab a piece of paper and just put it down. But it's basically, as you can see, it's just a cardboard box as I use as a spray box. And that's about it for this lesson. That's the stuff I recommend for airbrushing for beginners. For if you do need want a overspray slash cleaning pot, you can use a Coke bottle. But you can use almost anything. Another option, which we will have to go to shaky cam now because I'm not going to disattach it, but. Another optional, which I forgot, is, let's see, airbrush holder, which I got here. Now it's like, if you just have the one and your compressor comes with one, that works out great. But once you move the two, I know, there we go, the middle is, I don't know what, it's just there. So I just leave my hose there. That's why I don't have to go searching for it. And then... More cheap clips. I got bigger clips for gluing, but that's about it. Airbrush holder does work out great. Just to remember, if you're right-handed, like me, you have it on the right hand of you. If you're left-handed, on the left-hand side. Just like most of my equipment that I use is on. I got my light on the left-hand side, right-hand side. Sorry, as you can see. Just I haven't changed to a daylight bulb yet because I need to find one that isn't American voltage so I don't plug it in, turn on the light, there goes the light. Have all my paint brushes on the right hand side. See so stay on there we go. For my it's just go to any any store that holds housings or office supplies this is just pen rack as for post-its papers I just put all my airbrushes and some of my modeling um, paint rack as you can see I uh, will be changing this because I have a lot more paints that I need pit there and I just granted yes I don't use all of these even though I can't zoom out, but don't use all of them, but I still prefer to have them handy if needed. Deep. Sorry about the ashtray, guys. There we go. And then, as you can see, I've got blue tape. Because when I zoom in, well, when I tried my first attempt for tutorial, I zoomed in. There we go. As you can see, this way I know where to paint or keep it all in the box a little bit over the box but basically so I keep it in focus without using TV but I will be basically plastering TV for my other tutorials but right now won't be any tutorial or there it will be tutorials coming in this, this series but right now it's just basic requirements and work on the budget and that is all for this lesson uh, next one will be a little bit more advanced well when I say advanced I mean more optional stuff to help you get better results through an airbrush but let, and one last thing even though a lot of people don't 
recommend it, but if all you can afford is one of these, go ahead and grab it. Yes, just use it for base coating and try not to do, can't really do great detail with it. And then, but just get the feel for it. And then once you upgrade, you will know the big difference. But until then, be safe, have fun, and don't get into trouble, guys. See you later.